at 10 a.m. LB-50 ready for takeoff. The B-29 mothership with the glamorous Glenis strapped below rolls down the runway. The plan? Airdrop the X-1 and watch as it rockets past point nine Merck, the edge of the sound barrier. The understanding of people at the time was that the sound barrier was truly that, a barrier. So they knew as they were accelerating that they were gonna enter this region of the unknown that we needed to somehow figure out how to break through. The man tasked with piloting the X-1 is Captain Chuck Yeager, an experienced fighter race with nearly 300 combat hours in World War II. Yeager was only 24, but had already done it all in the fighter pilot world and demonstrated that he had a knack for the gung-ho missions, but also for being precise and methodical. Jaeger was not a college man. He was not out of the typical mold, but Jaeger had a lot of hands-on mechanical experience plus natural instincts that had given him the confidence and the background to be a superb test pilot. It will be Jaeger's seventh flight in the X-1 and the closest he's ever flown to the speed of sound. Jaeger's experience now is one of a kind. He's the only one who knows what it's like to fly the X-1 this close to the Mach barrier. Past flights near the speed of sound have proved unpredictable and deadly, killing many pilots who dared approach it. The engineering predicted that once past the speed of sound, the airplane would enter a regime of smooth flight. But no one knew for sure, and this was a barrier that had scared a lot of people broken planes and claimed lives.